Hi, I am Adam Glennon Sidwell. I am the author of Evertaster, and um, I'm here today signing at Costco. Um, and it's a it's been a really good day. Uh, last a uh, few days ago, it was at Costco when we sold out of books, and um, it's been really exciting. Uh, it's you know some some of my first chances to sign in Costco, and it's a, it's been a good time. So, what does the cover of the book look like? Well, glad you asked. The cover of the book looks like this. This is um, Evertaster, and this is actually created by a concept artist named Moro Fujita, and he uh, he does concept art for DreamWorks. He, um, some of his work came into Megamind and Madagascar. Just a really talented artist, and uh, I'm I couldn't be more pleased with how this turned out. You know, I think it's got the right amount of mystery and playfulness, and um, I I'm very happy with it. So it's a uh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of fun to see that on my book, and I think it's helped to really give people an impression of what the book's about. So, what is the book about? Um, so, Evertaster is a story of Gustav Johnson, who's 11 years old. It's, a, it's a, um, an adventure story where he hears the legend of the most delicious thing that has ever existed in all of history. And he gets a, a, an egg beater from a dying pastry chef. And on the handle of that egg beater are carved some clues that lead him off on an adventure to jungles and caves, all in search of the um, ingredients or parts of this one recipe, the most delicious thing ever. And he doesn't know what it is, so it's a mystery story um, where he's uh, trying to figure out exactly what it is that this uh, taste is. He's the pickiest kid in the world, so he has to find it. So. Were you influenced by Indiana Jones when you designed this? Uh, you know, probably subconsciously. I mean, it does feel very much Indiana Jones. That's how I describe it for people now, actually. Cause so there, there are definitely Indiana Jones elements because, you know, they're crawling through caves and they're um, unraveling clues. You know, similar to Raiders of the Lost Ark or um, The Last Crusade. Uh, and I think that, you know, for me, it started out as a... Uh, as an adventure story, and the, the premise happened to be about, you know, finding this taste. And um, for me, I like adventure stories. You know, that's what really is exciting for me. Uh, the, the the basis of a lot of the book is uh, travels, places I've been to. Um, I was in Africa once, uh, going through the jungle, and I saw the clearing um, uh, 36 mountain gorillas. And so that's what inspired this guy right here. Uh -huh. um, and I thought it was because you did some uh, CGI work for King Kong. <laughs> That's part of it, too. That's part of it, too. I always say that that was my research trip for King Kong, <laughs> even though it happened after the fact. So, um, it's a... Uh, but, but, you know, and uh, I spent some time in Norway, and they end up there on an adventure, and then uh, they end up some other place I've actually never been to, but I've always wanted to go, and so this writing about them gave me a chance to research and dream about them. So... What inspired you to write a children's book over, an, let's say, an adult adventure book? You know, I think that um, I really like the imagination, the free reign of imagination that happens in middle grade novels or for this age group. There's something, you know, if you look at that Harry Potter age group or Roald Dahl, who's one of my major um, inspirations, he, he just writes about all sorts of imaginative things and then, um, and then it, uh, and it just takes off from there. So, what is your future for the book? My future for the book, well, um, it's kind of exciting because, uh, you know, it's expanding, you know, more and more stores are picking up and um, it's getting momentum, but in the meantime, uh, I'm writing the rest of the series. There are three main books in the series, um, and uh, the second book, The Delicious City, should come out uh, in, at the end of the year, um, if you look at this, right here. This is uh, The Delicious City in the final season. I'm covering the last page so you'll see what happens. Um, and uh, that will be coming out soon. Um, and, then, uh, and then in the meantime, I'm writing a, a novella that goes with it. Some of the characters that they've run into along the way. And that should be out in about April. Um, so uh, busily finishing up the final um, editing and cover art and, and stuff. So it's fun. Um, but uh, we've, got a, we've got a YouTube channel and a Facebook page. Uh, there's a book trailer there, which is really cool, um, that you can see what the book's all about and watch it and get a flavor for it, uh, to see if you want to try it out. And it's, it was made by a couple Hollywood buddies, so it's kind of cool. It's you know, really <laughs> cinematic. So, I like the picture with the Nerf gun. 
Oh, thank you. Yep, that's the author picture right there. So that was uh, that was a fantastic piece of steampunk art, I think. <laughs> I thought it was a Halloween picture that you used. Yeah. It almost, it, actually, that was an engagement photo. My wife chose another one, though. Okay. <laughs> that was one of the that was one of the bloopers, I guess. <laughs> I I would have chosen that one. Because the Nerf gun just sells it all. Doesn't it? Yes. It says it says so much. So, any last words before we sign off here? Um, yeah. So go go. Uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, video, and um, I'm uh, ever taster on YouTube, so you can check out some uh, videos on my channel there. Um, the uh, the uh, book trailer which you should check out and ever tasters um, in Costco and on Amazon and on uh, Kindle enjoy thank you